I have the ability to customize my old role center. When I'm when I'm in a role center like this one, I can make changes to this that every time I go into Dynamics Nav will be saved, but uh, anybody else that had this particular role wouldn't see these. So for example, I could look at the ribbon up here. I have finance, then I have sales, I have a report uh, feature up here, I have a vendor purchase list at the bottom of this. If I wanted to make some adjustments to this, all I have to do is go into Customize the Ribbon. And as an example, maybe I want to see the sales that I see here over on the left side and finance next to it. I could take sales and just move it up. And maybe from a reporting standpoint, I don't want to see this vendor purchase list. So I can just click Remove that. And that that uh, report is now gone. I can click OK. And if you notice now, sales has moved over here, finance has moved over there. And when I go to the report list, that vendor purchase uh, item is now, purchase list is gone from my um, role center. So uh, it makes that really easy to do. You can't screw this up because any time that you're making changes to things like this, you have this function here that says uh, restore default. So I can click this, say OK, and this will put this back as it was. And notice the report menu isn't here because that was a customization. So I can go back into my customize the ribbon piece here, and I can take this report piece and just say add it and click OK. And now I have this back with all of my reports on it again, as well as my um, changes moved around here back to the way that they were. There are other areas that I can customize on this as well. So if I go back into customization and pick nav pane here, for example, I can customize my home area. And if you look on this list, these are the areas that I have out here uh, in my home page center. And then the department area down here is uh, what I actually have for departments. And if I click this, then I can go into financial management, general ledger, and I can expand each of these areas. And I can remove any of these things that I don't want to see on my list. So I can customize the menus here to match exactly what I would like. And in that department area, what we're actually looking at is going into each of these particular areas and being able to add and remove any of these programs that we might want to. I also can go in and customize my role center itself. <clears throat> if I pick customization and the page, I could do something like, for example, maybe I wanted to have cash flow always up and available here. I could add this. And then I could move it up the list in front of my reports and my notifications. Click OK. And now <clears throat> I have a cash flow analysis sitting out here for me all the time. It's available for me to uh, look at as well. So almost all of these, I have the ability to select any of the default uh, presentations that are here. So for example, with this one, I can see uh, parts and spares sales. I can see the uh, cost of goods sold. I can see the gross profit margin. Here it is finished items and cost of goods sold for finished items in January. So I can customize these to, uh, to, to meet the requirements and to make my job easier um, and, and really tailor it to the role that I perform in the company.